this is a sycamore that I've done a sketch of and also you can see the video of it on YouTube I called it how to uh, sketch a tree and it's very interesting full of all the facts how to also shade it uh, capturing the shape and I'll also be doing a video on how to draw foliage on a tree which I've just discovered a very easy way of doing it uh, about four hours ago and so that's really good so as you can see I've got the foreground in it's uh, got a small uh, black film there got the gate some ivy we've got a sort of small well there and we're now going to move on to another sycamore that you haven't seen this I did on the 23rd of uh, August uh, this year being in 2011 I've uh, tried to capture the whole structure and work of of it with all the stems and trunks I've also made the main branches on the side trunks to come out and make it look um, like a proper tree uh, I've added some shading at the bottom uh, suggesting that the light is coming from there so if I turn it from there like that and now we're going to move on to a few of my I've got some sketches of apples here these are still life sketches that I've done this is of a Laxton's fortune this is a reasonably small apple it's only about that big so about two inches and that's this um, Merton Worcester um, was uh, quite was even smaller this is about that size but it was really quick and easy to draw but this is also one of our uh, homegrown apples this is a um, if I zoom in this is a grenadier uh, most of it, well the whole colour of, of it is 100% uh, uh, light green and it took me about 5 minutes to draw that picture and 2 to 3 minutes for the other two and we're now going to move on to another couple of sketches on the top, not sure if you can read but that's a banana uh, that took about five minutes to draw. I've um, this is from a still life, like the courgette underneath it, and I've uh, captured the way the shadow is formed by uh, using this uh, light, light here. Really useful. Uh, quite easy. You can get them anywhere really in sort of any like home base or B and Q and I shone it I tightened it from a uh, angle um, looking that in that direction that's a bit smaller than the actual banana that I did and so that's that one and then we're gonna zoom out a bit for our courgette which took me about 10 minutes to the whole sketch uh, this is on the 28th uh, of August um, that was uh, the end of the courgette so there's a few dead bits um, there so I've captured that in shading I've also captured this uh, a part which is connected to the plant and now we'll move on to some object drawings. Go from start from the bottom. This is um, a few like tennis balls that I've uh, sketched, and uh, you can see that on another video that I'm going to put up shortly. This is my cylinder in the middle, and then a rectangle. That's all fairly easy. 
took about two minutes to uh, sketch each one and we're going to finish if you're familiar with me you can see this in my best pieces of artwork and it's um a sketch of our house it took me about half an hour to three quarters of an hour to do it all together so it took a long time but it's uh, worth it you can see we've got a solar panel there got I've captured uh, the shading of the tree at the back um, uh, but by the way the foliage isn't like that tree at, right at the back it's um, a much uh, better way and maybe I'll just look at my sketchbook now to see and uh, show you an example right this is the foliage that I do it's really really simple and easy uh, this is just the start of the tree um, as it looks quite a bit odd we're going to have the main trunk coming out there and it, I'll do I'm going to do a separate video now on how to create a uh, um, leaf and foliage effect like that so I hope you enjoyed and I'll do another uh, sketching video put it up really uh, shortly and I'll see you next time bye